Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. Hello and welcome to the Pop Turnative Podcast. This is the podcast and talk show where we have digital discussions from the worlds of TV, film, pop culture, social media, everything really depending on the guests we talk about it all. As always, I'm your host, Pyramid Leotis, and on social media, you know me as PD Beats. Outer Banks is continuing to take the world by storm on Netflix. Everyone's watching, everyone's loving it, and we are speaking to a cast member from Outer Banks. He's been on a lot of really cool things in the past, but uh, you'll recognize him as Sheriff Shoop in Outer Banks on Netflix. Cullen Moss is with us. Cullen, welcome to Pop Turner. There we go. Oh. Thank you. Hey, there we go. This is uh, my, my little plastic badge here. Thank you no, for coming no, no, on the show, man. Uh, thank you for having me, Pete. Thanks a lot. So we talked about it a little bit in the preamble. I mean, you know, usually, you know, some shows get popularity. It's a slow burn, you know, week to week. You know what I mean? But this just like rapid fire, man. Like, congrats. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah. Um, yeah. From the moment, uh, from the moment I hit the ground, it was just like, bam, it was, it was, it was on. And you've been, you've been in a lot of, you've been in a lot of stuff. You've been in a lot of shows. You've been in a yeah. lot of, you've had like recurring episodes on shows on big shows. You know what I yeah. mean? But you said before, like you've never seen anything like this. No. And, and, and uh, not, not, I've never seen anything just catch fire this quickly. I mean, and, and that's, that's what this did. I mean, just to, to be, you know, number one on Netflix like that. I mean, just, uh, you know, it was a kind of a slow climb there, but I, no, it wasn't a slow climb. It was like, what am I talking about? It was just, it was, it was insane. Um, and yeah, I have been a part of like shows that have huge, intense fandoms that, you know, they cultivated over years, but now, you know, with the, with the, with the way that things drop now, like on Netflix, the whole season, everybody, you know, binged the season and they're watching the season over and over. And, um it's it's insane it's uh it's destined for <laughs> for great things and people are asking about season two it hasn't even been a month i know <laughs> um I, well trust all, all of us are asking about season two too uh we're uh we're ready for it um yeah we're we're hoping uh, i mean it, it's all signs are looking good for a season two so we're all hoping to jump back in so before we get into, you know, Outer Banks and Sheriff Shoop specifically, I just kind of want to know a little bit more about Cullen Moss. I mean, when did you kind of decide that you like storytelling and acting was something you wanted to do? Um, it's something that's interested me ever since I was a kid. Um, you know, and my, I, I just, I liked telling stories and any, you know, my parents noticed that when, when I would hear a story or read a story, I'd always, I'd want to act it out. Or when I was telling a story about something I'd, I'd have to use the voices of everybody involved, you know, relatives and friends and stuff. I was always doing voices and characters and dressing up. And so my, my parents got me in acting classes as, as a kid and I did theater growing up. Um, it's just always been a passion. I didn't really, I didn't know that I could viably consider it for, um, a living, um, for some time. I didn't really jump into that, but, uh, I've been I've been at it for as far as like going after film and television for like 17 years now. So. And it's one of those things like if people kind of see your IMDb, I mean, you've done a lot of things. But what I've noticed, too, is like every year, you know, there's like six or seven things. Were there kind of moments in your career where it was like super busy to the point where you were kind of auditioning and going in for like three, four shows in, the like, in, in a, a month span? Like, did that ever happen? Uh, going in for it, yeah. Yeah, I mean it's that's for for a lot of actors um, out there, you know, who are just trying to get there. I mean, it's you're you're wading through a, a sea of auditions. I mean, um, and and the the rate of attrition is crazy. I mean, you, you know, there's so many no. You've got to you've got to make it through so many no 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 so many no's before you before you land something and so yeah i mean it, as far as um you know auditions coming in th there's definitely been times where i'm just auditioning all the time but there have been times when i'm auditioning all the time and striking out um but i've hit a nice stride over the past few years and fortunately i've uh, i've had um good momentum and 
you know, had, haven't had a lot of, uh, haven't had too many valleys, uh, between jobs. So that's been nice. And for sure, sure of Shoop and on other banks, is that kind of, was that kind of easy, just as simple as just kind of auditioning, going for the process, you got the role or is there a story behind that? Did you originally audition for sure of Shoop? I did. Um, and th- there's, there's, there's a cool little story, uh, behind it. Nice. One, I've played so many damn cops. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I've played, I've like, <laughs> And this is certainly the most interesting one, I, I, um, the, and and the the most well rounded one. I played cop number one, <laughs> you know, uh, young white cop, 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 you know, just all all kinds of cops, a lot of cops, and um, <laughs> and so I was like, ah, oh, great, you know, another law enforcement officer that I, that I, to read for. But I saw that it was you know recurring, and um, so it was a fun audition. I read yeah. for it. Uh, twice, I think I got some notes back and, and did another read, and then um, and and I, I was at the time I was shooting um, I was shooting uh, uh, I wanted to say Vice Principals, but uh, Righteous Gemstones, yeah. Also, which shoots in Charleston. I was shooting Gemstones and like was working late one night, and I was supposed to go straight from that to finish up this indie feature that I was shooting in Alabama, and. Um, and you know, there's a crate like I was gonna have to like be driven straight to Alabama from the from the gemstone set like overnight and start shooting like at eight AM the next morning like on a boat. No and oddly enough I was playing a, a cop um <laughs> on a boat um down in the for this feature in Alabama. And um anyway the the weather got bad and they canceled the they canceled the shoot in Alabama. So I got the call um, I call her the casting director for um, Gemstones, who also cast Outer Banks, uh, Lisa Mae Finkan. And I called her and I was like, look, as it turns out, you know, I, they don't have to cut me loose early tonight. I can stay late. She was like, oh, cool. So you're going to be around tomorrow. We're doing a table read for Outer Banks. Wow. We're reading the first two episodes. Um, and she, if you and your wife want to come, my wife is an actor also who had gone and helped actually read um, some actors for the role of uh, – of uh of john b Mm -hmm. um and uh so she said if you guys want to come and read a few different roles and she was like it'd be a great opportunity for you to read deputy shoop again um and i was like well yeah definitely of course we'll be there and so we we showed up and um and i got to read shoop and some other roles some other actors who weren't present i got to read we read the we did the first two episodes with the cast um with most of the cast present. And, uh, and so we cut, we, we had a little break after the first script, after reading the first script. And I went in the green room for a bite to eat or something. And, um, and Chase and Rudy and Maddie were all in there and, and Chip, Chip Aston. And, and um, I reintroduced myself to everybody. And, uh, and I remember Chase coming up to me and going, bro, he's like, that, he's like, you, you just killed Shoop. He's like, he's like, man, you're, you're killing it. He's like, I you know, I don't know if you're already, if you're already in there or not, he said, but we're all, you know, we're all going to put a good word in for you. Um, so it was cool. I, like I got to, I kind of, in a time where you don't always get a call back, uh, which is, you know, go, going in front of the director, everybody mails in emails, auditions so much now. And then, you know, you, you, uh, depending on the size of the role, whatever you get, you get a call back or you get a screen test, you get a chemistry test like with, another, with other castmates. And, um, I don't know what direction they were going for deputy shoot, but I do, I do feel like that that table read that almost didn't happen was like that, that definitely, uh, that definitely locked it in. So that was cool. No, absolutely. That's, that's awesome. That's a great story. I mean, there's so many things I think that are resonating with fans of Outer Banks right now. I mean, we can just kind of name it if I'm missing anything. I mean, it looks amazing. The cinematography is insane. Beautiful. Right? Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. it's stunning. Brad Smith. We, um, Brad Smith is our DP. And uh, yeah, we've got um, Bo Webb and Matt Lyons, are great camera operators. And, um, and uh, Jamie Baglio, our gaffer, is just, yeah. What I find interesting, though, what I find interesting is you were in a show called One Tree Hill. Yep. (laughs) And some people are kind of comparing 
Outer Banks a little bit to Dawson's Creek and One Tree Hill. Absolutely. And you were also on One Tree Hill. That is pretty cool, I have to say. And and I was in Dawson's Creek for for a moment, a brief moment. But, uh, <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> yeah, so I've got I got my hat trick. I got my teen drama hat trick. But it's 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 pretty cool. Yeah, but you know what? It's 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 pretty cool for a show like this. I mean, the 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 formula of you know like the teen drama. You know, you see it with like Riverdale and everything. You know what I mean? Um, and well, you look at like Stranger Things now. They were kids, but now you can they're they're kids. They're teens. You know what right. I mean? They're a bit older, but that um that's a that, that's a difficult formula to put together and Outer Banks has it like all fought like the the like the main you know the main five are just fantastic they're great man aren't they they um all all of them and and uh yeah every, every everybody's so so damn good uh, um and Ch- you know chip is a great foil and not giving too much away but uh and um you get and yeah, um, Drew is killing it. Drew, with, 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 he's, <laughs> shout out to Nick Cirillo, Barry, and Nick, unbelievable. And Barry's crushing Dude, it. Barry and, is um, what, cr- like Barry crushed it in this season. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, yeah, Caroline, just, yeah, she's she's incredible. There's just so so many good actors in the show that make it that that uh, that sell it. I mean, you know. Um, uh, Adina Porter, who plays uh, Peter Ken, so good, man. I mean, she's got a rich history too. Um, and has and some you, really strong shows under her belt. And, and you know, this is the only like spoiler-ish thing I'm gonna talk about right now. And I, I warn my viewers, it's all good. You know what okay, I mean? Okay, okay. But except for Adina, <laughs> I mean, they've it, it's been set up like for the most of the cast to have pretty decent roles for a possible season two you know what i mean oh yeah yeah absolutely and i and i mean we're like it's open uh, you know what i mean i know i, I mean they're they're already do, i know they're doing the writing i mean they're, they're it's underway now whether you know we're just we're waiting on that final the official word um but yeah I, they they said they set up some great stories man i mean you know things aren't dead in the water certainly for for really anyone um in that show it's now i find this interesting because you know like you look at yourself you know caroline and charles charles Eston, and you know who was amazing in nashville i mean deacon was like one of the coolest characters of all time <laughs> um did, oh, and do for you remember me, that who, well for me i didn't i didn't watch nashville that much um i just didn't i didn't it's not that i'm against it i just never got i just never yeah. got into it um but i know i'm familiar with them from whose line is it like I, this was a great improv show and i do improv like I've, I've done sketch comedy and improv and i just think he's brilliant in that realm and so get to, you know to get to see him in a role like this is, is, is a lot of fun but what i find interesting is i just named like you're kind of the adults on mm-hmm. the show you know what i mean but this is a show that centers around kids young like young folk right yeah in terms of you know the shooting of it and the table reads and just the life kind of on set you know what i mean is there a little bit of like an indirect i mean responsibility for the adults in terms of you know kind of like showing the ropes a little bit or being there for the the, the kids if they, if they need it like, do you know what i mean in that regard i had to put a number of uh those young actors in time out on more than one occasion <laughs> Um, I was like, yeah, no, to your trailer, man. You go to your trailer. You've just <laughs> been, been at the craft service table for too long. And it's just, you're I saw abusing, an interview. You're uh, Walter's, the, gra- <laughs> Walter's grapefruit snacks or something. The, 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 uh, yeah. Um, JD. That, JD. JD. <laughs> kill those. Um, no, no. I mean, those kids knew it. They, and again, I say those kids. I'm just, I sound like an old fart. I, I just, it's because I've got my uh, my quarantine grizzle, so I feel like I can call people kids now. Those kids, you know. I told they they knew what they were doing, and yeah. I mean, um, so I mean, sure, like if the, you know, if they needed something, I, I, if you'd they be needed there, something, you know? I, I would I would be there for sure. But I, but I mean, they it was cool to see all of them like gr- and to, to grow to grow into understanding everything so much better throughout the throughout the season and i mean they all started on strong legs anyway but then there was i mean there was a curve um 
and uh, and man i mean just by the end everybody you know everybody really found their pace and but they were, but I mean, awesome. it's a lot. It's a lot different now. I mean, with the quarantine, because they they're not able to go anywhere in terms of you know press. But like, I can't even imagine like the 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 five right now, like what they're kind of dealing with right now. Like it's nuts. Oh, dude! I mean, they they're gonna have so much waiting for them when the you know when <laughs> uh, when the door opens, when the gates open um, after the quarantine. Um, one week. It's been one week. I'm just saying. <laughs> Yeah, no, they. Uh, I, I imagine they're gonna be uh, they're gonna be killing it in the press, but um, yeah, they um, they they were all just so much fun to work with too. I mean, we you know, um, especially when we went we went and shot it like Hunting Island. It was it was kind of like an away game uh, where they shot the um, the the lighthouse stuff. Um, that was a nice little getaway for everybody. And we all, we're all staying in hotels and got to, you know, kind of, it was, it's interesting when you're shooting, I live in Charleston where we shot. So shooting here, you know, it's sometimes when, when you're, when you're on a film or television set, it's like a summer camp, you know, almost cause you're, you're not at home. You're, you know, you're living this kind of dream, dream life with a, with a, with a tight knit, with a family, with a crew and a cast that becomes a family. And, um, you know, and and I know that for them, for a lot of them, it was still like that. But at the end of the day, you know, I got I come home to my my three kids and and uh, the work, and I wasn't working every day like they were. Um, but uh, but anyway, Hunting Island was a nice little uh, thing where the the whole crew and the kids and everybody like all hung a out. A lot of the crew talking to, talking to Drew Starkey who played Rafe and talking to you know Rudy Pankow who played. JJ, it seemed like there was a lot of situations where some of the cast and crew would go out to eat at various places because they were talking about how amazing the food was. They oh, mentioned yeah. this place, Taco Boy, and everything. Did you have a chance, maybe you and some of the other crew, to kind of like go out and eat with 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 a bunch of people? Did that ever happen, or was it just kind yeah, of working? Yeah, working? yeah, every no, every every now and then, like we went to some brunches with them, and uh, with and and I know um, I know a number of the crew members like from from back in Wilmington, uh, when I lived in Wilmington and, oh, wow. and, uh, and I mean, I've known some of those guys for like, you know, a, seven, as long as I've been in it, 17, 18 years. Uh, crazy. Um, yeah. Bo Webb and, um, and Mike, Mike rail, our sound got Mike rail and Jenny Elsinger and, uh, Dan Janice, Janice, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, Dan, I'm not going to try your last name right now, but, uh, our sound guys, um, and our, our catering, uh, Riva, who did who did the craft service. I mean, anyway, it's so it was it was like this homecoming away from like I moved to Charleston about three years ago, and then all of a sudden from Wilmington, and then we shoot this show, and like half the crew is are my old Wilmington people, and so that was awesome. Yeah, so we got together, and the and everybody was just super supportive. Like I said, I do an improv show um, at Theater Ninety Nine. Um, my wife and I do improv up there and it's on meeting street in downtown Charleston. And every few weeks we'll go and do a show there. And, uh, there, there were a few occasions where the cast members and crew members would come and see the show and for sure and support us, which was awesome. And then we, we'd go out and have drinks after that downtown Charleston. Oh, that's amazing, man. Well, yeah. Colin, thank you so much for coming on Pop Turner to chat about Utter Banks, man. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Actually, very quick before we wrap up, I mean, Sheriff sure, Shoop, I mean, that must be a fun character to play. I mean, he's an uptight guy. He, you know, has some situations where he gets his hands dirty a little bit more than he should, in my opinion. A little bit. A little bit. Um, a little bit more, but it's. I'm sure it's a really fun character to play. It. He was a lot of fun to play. Um, yeah, he's, he's definitely... he's. He's full of himself and, and, you know, toes kind of a blurry line as far as like the, yeah. the ethics of, of things. But I think he kind of finds, um, I think he finds his way by the end of the season. I think, you know, I the, agree. The stakes, yes. the stakes get higher and he, and he, he realizes he needs to buckle down and, so, you know, and to, to honor uh, Sheriff Peterkin. Part, a little bit of a um, little, little bit of a Rambo moment day with John B on the radio. Do you know what I'm talking a, about? A little, bit, a little bit. <laughs> Do you know a what I'm talking bit. about? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Your character is just like, like you're like around, and you're just like, oh snap, <laughs> what have yeah, I was, done? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it was it was fun, and they they let me. I think Shoop was kind of gonna be 
a look like a little more a little lean more towards that kind of dirty side like in the original yeah. writing and more towards like uh um uh an antagonist yeah. and uh but I th- the the writers um like Shannon and Josh and and and, and uh, Jonas to like to like they they kind of saw what I wanted them to be a little more likable and like and and, and and they let me and they let me do that. They kind of wrote towards what I was doing with the character, and um, and anyway, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. So it's like I said, it's one of the better, more well-rounded characters I've gotten to play. Like, because by it was a, just a nice arc through the season. Mm-hmm. By the end of the season, you know, he's he's dealing with a lot of stuff with some with some big stuff, and I think he's found. You know, he's kind of he's come into his own and. Yeah, it's cool. For sure. Where can people follow you on social media to keep up a date with everything? Um, I'm on Instagram. I'm Cullen Moss. Uh, that's my that's my crafty handle on Instagram. And uh, and on Twitter, I'm Cullen Moss. Um, yeah. Very so, cool. And- well, seriously, congratulations to you and the cast and crew on the success of Outer Banks. So much. Even though lot. it's been one week. It's it's insane. Uh, yeah, we're we're so we're so pleased with it, and I, I know we're all just uh, we're grateful, and and uh, definitely want to thank all the fans who are just who are just crushing it with this. But response. the first episode you're in right away, though, like me, like I right away, like I, I was hooked. Like first twenty minutes of episode one, you know what I mean, Colin? Like I'm not just saying that, like legit, like you're into it right away, which is very difficult for a show to do. No, it's great. It's great writing. I mean, they they do they grab everybody. I mean, the characters are likable. I mean, you you see the 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 camaraderie, and you see, you know, uh, you you see the haves and the have-nots. The whole the whole outsiders kind of thing. You know, uh, they they set it up so well that everybody's invested immediately. It's uh, absolutely it's good stuff, man. I'm, well, thank I'm you so fortunate much for- to be a part of it. Yeah. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate you ha- you coming on. Uh, thank you. Anytime, man. Absolutely. Well, this has been Popternative, youtube.com slash Popternative. For previous episodes, be sure to watch Outer Banks on Netflix now, streaming now on Netflix, starring Cullen Moss as Ooh. Sheriff Shoop. And until next time, this is Cullen Moss and PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Popternative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Popternative on YouTube. Be sure to like Popternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.